Wendy's presents The Burger Files, lifting the bun on burger crime. Welcome to The Burger Files, the Halloween special. I'm Nina Noonan, podcaster, investigator, and tireless exposer of homicidal burger habits in the high street. And for regular listeners, welcome back. Got a taste for it, have you? The regular series not satisfied your hunger? Well, tip the paper bag upside down and scavenge those last few fries, because this meal isn't finished yet. The case might be cold, but we're shoving it in the microwave and calling it breakfast. It's Halloween, and it's time to get scary. By reopening a case to add some horrifying new evidence, apparently, we might be facing some horror we're not quite ready for. Well, I say we. I mean, you. I deal with this stuff every day. But maybe send any pets or elderly relatives out of the room before we start. And if you're wearing headphones, make sure there are no pets or elderly relatives caught inside them. Good? Let's go. Let's get scary. Now, a quick word from our sponsor. Like any hard-bitten investigative podcaster, I'm aware that the host read ad is an area of trust, so I don't advertise anything I don't use. So this is for Wendy's Burgers, wonderful burgers which I consume and enjoy. There, testimony. Now for the sales pitch. When you order a burger, you want a treat, not a crime scene. You want something hot, juicy, and fresh. Two Baconators coming right up. And at Wendy's, that's what you get. Freshly cut, made-to-order ingredients. 100% fresh British beef served right off the grill. Thank you for choosing Wendy's. Because not making a burger fresh is a crime. A true crime. Save your friends from burger crime with our buy one, get one 50% off on our Baconator. Use the code FRESHBURGERS, all one word, at the kiosk. Full T's and C's available in our podcast bio. Wendy's. We do it fresh. A quick alert before we kick off. Some of this special Halloween podcast may contain nuts. I mean, the guys responsible for these burger crimes are clearly unhinged. I say it like I see it. Remember, if you've been served a substandard burger and just put up with it, that's a crime scene. That's what we're facing and not flinching. Oh, no, because this is The Burger Files. Happy Halloween, fear fans. Uh, What was that? Spooky noise. Don't. Hello, listeners. It's Halloween, and this one is going to chill your blood. That's Jane, my producer. This was her idea. You might be able to tell we're not recording in our usual podcast home of my investigations office. This is a slightly different format to usual. Jane says we have some fresh developments. I don't know what they are either yet, but let's reopen this case together. Okay? Hello there. (laughs) Um, Welcome to our our Halloween special. And we're going to reopen one of the cases from the series in the light of fresh evidence. So um, this is a bonus episode, a slightly spooky side special. (laughs) If you thought the burgers in these crime cases was dead and buried, this is when they rise from their graves and do that zombie walking about thing. (laughs) Do we feel comfortable with this? (laughs) Very uh, very exciting. And we're not in my usual office. Uh, No, I booked a proper studio. A studio we don't usually use, which I am fine with. You sure? You did sound agitated on the phone. What? Me? No, I'm flexible. I thrive on this sort of thing. New perspectives, not stuck in a rut, ready to think out of the envelope, move fast and, you know, break things. Good, because I thought we'd do this one live together. I I could co-host and there's not room in your office because of i need all of those boxes of files it's a very thorough system if you need to come in or sit down you can ask and i'll move something or i'll meet you in wendy's yes there there is only really room in your office for one person hey i walk a lonely path alone 
Is there room for a path in there? No. And that's how I like it. To keep people off my lonely path. Okay, so we're here to do uh, a Halloween special of The Burger Files, live in the studio with some new revelations about the case of the frozen patty. I brought everything I need anyway. I've got crime cards and a new box full of drawing pins and an extra big bag of red string for connecting clues. I'm ready for anything. Can we pin stuff to these walls? Can I paint on them? No, it's a rented space. I've got it for an hour. What if the case gets really baffling and I want to stare out of the window, listening to the rain and brooding on the darkness at the heart of mankind? Can we get a window in here? I think it's an internal wall. Stay there. Don't pause. I'm just going to go print myself out a picture of a window. (sighs) Fine. (sighs) Shall I do it? (sighs) Okay. Um, So this is where um, bad burgers... Meet overdue justice. So this uh, it's a bonus episode recorded here as live, um, off the cuff, <laughs> discussing new evidence and revisiting a case from the series. Carry on, just coming. Do the link. Right, <laughs> fantastic. Uh, anyway, um, fresh evidence has turned up, and I think this uh, ability to respond to. New information is 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 what makes um there we have a window. I'll pin it up. Uh, true crime podcasting one of the most interesting developments in the field of investigation and and police works since the um invention of um, since what the um the helmet ch- chin strap really it's all I could think of. Do you want me to do the links? You know, this is much harder than it looks to do off the cuff. I'm I'm used to editing myself quite heavily <laughs> in these podcasts. I take out all my ums, you know, um, and my you knows, you know. Doing it all live is, um, you know, um, quite, uh, you know, um, exposing, you know. Um, do you take out my ums? Do you know, I've never heard you say um. They say there's a price to total certainty. But I've yet to find it. Okay, as I said, the case we are reopening today is the Frozen Patty case. One of my most baffling mysteries, but I solved it. I find it hard to believe that there could be a more satisfying answer. But let's take another look at it. Stare into the abyss one more time. If you like. I can stare into the abyss. Oh, I can stare. That's my thing. Do you know my record for staring into the abyss without blinking? Two days. Two days. Two days. Unwitnessed, sadly, because I work alone, as I said. Or I'd be in the record books, most staring into the abyss. But that's the consequences of working alone. So, the case of the frozen patty. We're reopening the burger file. Here, I've got the original crime report direct from social media, though some details have been changed to protect the innocent. <clears throat> Went to a burger restaurant. Won't say which one, but the burger was still frozen in the middle. Spat it out. Ruined my dinner. And do you remember how that ended? Vividly. Case closed. I tied it all up. Sure, it ended on a down note that humanity as a whole was to blame. That's bleak. I'll take that hit. But life's tough, and we've drawn our conclusions. Well, here's what I haven't told you. I received an anonymous voice message, and it seemed to be a sort of confession. A confession? Yes, to the murder. Someone confessed. But we know who did it that the whole of humanity was to blame. Uh, It's not the best ending to a true crime podcast, is it? That we all did it. I mean, that's why I was so keen to reopen this case. I told you, I'd cracked it. I'd identified the perpetrator of this burger crime as the whole human race, pinned up a picture of the Earth from space, and linked it to a picture of the crime with red string. Case solved. Who was guilty? Everyone was guilty. Without blowing my own trumpet... That was the big one. Listen, this is me in that episode. They have been reenacted, investigator. This is episode three. In your bag. Go along with... 
people just go along with it. I'm playing this off my phone to save you having to edit it in. Oh, right. Do you have all the old episodes on your phone? I find listening back to how my brain works soothing. And I can't work out how to delete the episodes when you email them over. Listen. And people just go along with it. They do as they're told, like sheep. They follow, like sheep follow. They don't remember, like sheep don't remember. Or is that goldfish? They go on buying burgers at the very epicenter of all this ancient burger evil, as if there never was a burger crime at all. Life finds a way. (laughs) Still chokes me up. What a conclusion. One of my finest. Well, it turns out that I wasn't the only person left unsatisfied that you hadn't solved that case. Face it, that crime was unsolvable. The town was too traumatized by the crime to speak. No surprise. It was a shocker. Well, this new confession message arrived from an unknown number on my phone. They called you and left a full confession. To this crime. To the case of the frozen patty. And more. Yes, it was really scary. Like something from Jack the Ripper taunting us, trying to make a fool of us. Your phone. They were trying to make a fool of you, technically. But this is sensational, right? Worth booking a studio for. We are going to, for Halloween, hear the voice of a killer. A real-life burger killer. Yes! Talking direct to us. Making us face the horror full on? Yes. That is fairly exciting. Well, great. I thought maybe we could all hear it now. Just to make clear for anyone listening, you've not played this terrifying criminal confession to me before? No, this is the first time I've shared it with you. A new piece of terrifying evidence that might blow this case wide open. It won't. Because we're all to blame. And since this murderer is a member of the human race, I'd already accuse them of the crime. So this is not news to me at all. Hang on. Here it is. Jane, it's your Uncle Pete. Have you still got my lawn edge yet? It's just she said you only needed it for a couple of... Sorry, wrong message. From hell. A message. From hell. I did it. I did it. Good God. They sound completely evil. Case reopened and immediately shut. Guilty. I don't think they sound like that in real life. I think it's a sort of kids' space alien helmet voice changer thing. The burger. The frozen patty. We all did it. All of us. We don't care. It wasn't worth caring. Between shifts, all the stuff, we all did. We knew nobody cared. Know what we were going to do next? Play ice hockey with frozen patties. Using patties like a puck. Does that shock you? Hockey burgers? Why? Because it's just burgers. It doesn't matter. Because you'll all keep coming back. You fools. Told you. Everyone did it. Catch us if you can. By which I mean call back on this number if you want to know our names. Oh, shut up, Kelly. Stop it, you'll spoil it. Yes, I'm doing the message. We'll get in trouble if the duty manager hears us. Shut up! My God. Frightening, isn't it? I was right. What? No, you weren't. You said the case was inconclusive. This is a full confession. No, it's just kids. There's no crime. Yes, there is. And we can get their names, call them back, get them on the podcast. Jane, what have we learned? We get nothing by living in the shadows, by pursuing these murderers at the cost of our own sanity. Every episode, we chase them down. Sometimes we get answers. Sometimes just a new head full of horrors. Where do we end up? Where? Where do we go? Wendy's. For a nice burger. Back in Wendy's. Forget all this. These kids did nothing wrong. Gosh, I could really use a Baconator right now. Crispy, oven-baked, applewood-smoked bacon. Well, yes, they did. Technically, and literally, yes, they did do something wrong. But would you rather be chasing them down with their scary voices? Or would you rather be having a good burger together, forgetting the horror, moving on? You're right. The only crime is going back. Getting a bad burger and thinking you don't deserve better. That's the crime. Thinking you can't ask for more. Yes. Let it go. Though using frozen food materials belonging to your employer as a hockey puck would be a sort of a crime. Is it, though? 
It completely is. What sort of crime? A burger crime. You know what? What? I've taught you well. Thank you. Maybe we've learned from one another. No, I've taught you well. Before you go, one more quick word from our sponsor, Wendy's. Hey, they pay the bills. Plus expenses. Someone has to cover the cost of post-it notes and red string. Get Wendy's iconic Baconator. Two big fresh beef patties, six pieces of crispy oven-baked applewood smoked bacon, and not a scrap of burger crime. You can save a friend from becoming a victim of burger crime with buy one, get one 50% off on our Baconator when you dine in. Use the code FRESHBURGERS, all one word, at the kiosk. Full T's and C's available in our podcast bio. Wendy's, we do it fresh. And that brings us to the end of our odyssey into the heart of burger darkness. We've seen some incredible things. Well, you haven't. I have. Don't blame me. It's an audio medium. But you can imagine the horror. Hey, we've done our best. We've used very evocative music, and I've done my best to paint some terrifying pictures with my words, many of which I looked up specially in the dictionary for this podcast. I hope you've enjoyed getting closer to the awful everyday truth of slovenly and lackadaisical burger service, and to expect a little more next time. Yeah, I looked up slovenly and lackadaisical. Deal with it. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review wherever you get your podcasts, and maybe tell a friend. Let's make the world better, one burger at a time. Thanks to Palin83 and Simon Martindale for the testimony used in this episode. Without your input, we're in the dark here. Because all the burger crimes depicted in the burger files actually happened and are based on genuine customer experiences of burger crimes committed in real life, which have been shared in public on social media. Names have been changed and any social media posts have been rephrased and sometimes restaged. But that hockey puck frozen patty thing was real, apparently, according to someone who worked behind the scenes at one of these places. Yeah, I know. Blows your mind. I'm Nina Noonan. Keep your eyes peeled and your burgers fresh, because wherever there's a burger crime, there's a victim of burger crime. Not just the burger. Don't let it be you.